Okay, hi guys, and welcome to the show. You can catch me here in Rainy Park with a little rascal here. He's had his hair cut, and I've got a new NATO strap, a nice bright color for the summer. Something really snazzy. I'm going to be doing a review on this very, very soon, courtesy of Red Rooster UK. They got some really crazy colours, I absolutely adore them. It works really well in the summer. And a little rascal here, he's had his hair cut. Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show and as you can see I am indeed back in New York. Uh, it's really great to be back. Unbelievably the weather here was more hot and humid than anything Las Vegas had. Uh, I had a fantastic trip, uh, very very expensive. I came back literally with, with $20 in my pocket um, and I think I spent, whew, I could have bought a brand new Rolex Datejust from from the Rolex store. The amount of money I spent, uh, the hotel, the, the the just the food. But it had to be done. It's something once in a lifetime. Uh, I had to cross it off the bucket list. You know, I'm going to die with the memory of Las Vegas in my head. I'm going to take it to, with me to my grave. Something priceless. Can't take a Rolex to your grave, unfortunately. Well, you can, but probably won't make that transition into the afterlife. But anyway. Uh, that's actually that's a really good topic for a for a video. Um, do you get a watch when you go to heaven? If you believe in heaven, anyway. Maybe not so a good idea, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, moving on. So, as I said, Las Vegas, absolutely amazing. I literally, I was I was discussing with the, I was at a family dinner, a family event yesterday, and we were discussing Las Vegas, and I literally. I said that you can't burn, you physically cannot burn money quicker than spending it in Las Vegas. I mean, if you stood there with a match and or a lighter and actually tried to burn money, you'd probably, probably be at the same rate as if you spent it. It's so expensive, but you get world-class service. Everywhere we went, was the service was impeccable. It really puts New York to shame. But of course, you're paying, you're paying out the nose for it, so you expect that kind of service. At first, it was a bit of a culture shock. I, I, I'd never seen so many people walking around in, in luxury hotels with flip-flops on uh, and sometimes without shirts on, which I think is, you know, which is a bit of a shock at, at first. Um, uh, but you get used to it. And, uh, but but I, must, I must say, I, I never did walk around the hotel with my flip-flops on. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not a hypocrite at least, you know. But anyway amazing amazing city um, a lot more kind of history and culture that, that I anticipated uh, some of the highlights the neon museum absolutely amazing tour that our tour guide there was fantastic really fascinating history um, behind and actually that the neon signs you could they represent the history of the city really and it's it's kind of evolution from 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 you know frontier um, mining town all the way to, to, to the gambling you know to the to the kind of um, the, the mob era and then then a kind of family vacation spot and then to what it is today so you know you could chart the whole history with the neon signs absolutely fantastic and they do nighttime tours as well so check that out there's a link on that video and talking of videos I do apologize for the, to the viewers that couldn't view some of the videos unfortunately you know the copyright laws internationally it differs from country to country and some of the music I chose does not play in certain countries it's very dated antiquated uh, laws and I do apologize so I think only I think some of the European countries had problems with it and, I, and I'm very very sorry but unfortunately that the music I chose is what I used to edit and just captured the, the, the mood I was trying to portray and I wanted obviously to make references to films and cinema and stuff about Las Vegas so I do apologize I will try and 
stay away from, from um, copyrighted music in, in the future. But in this case, I just felt it, it, it encapsulated everything I wanted to, to portray and maybe a bit of a mistake on my part, but, but I do apologize. Anyway, I'll try and run the footage maybe in the corner of the screen or something if I, move, if I budge over a little bit. Anyway, so that, that, that was a little bit annoying. Uh, but anyway, I have a whole bunch of packages arrive, uh, which is fantastic. Got new watches on the way. Uh, what else? Um, I'm gonna do a video talking about my my kind of almost holy experience, religious experience at uh, Black Pan. I saw some amazing, amazing, amazing watches. Um, I tried on some perpetual calendars, I tried on basic, oh, oh, the, the whole um, 50, ad, at, um, 50 fathoms range, really nothing out of all the stores I visited, Blanc Pain impressed me the most. The design, the quality, um, just the range of, of, of models they had, really, it just screamed quality and pedigree, and it just, oh, just perfect. Uh, of course, I went to Gégé Le Coultre, Rolex, Omega, I even went to Panerai, who else? Breitling, I mean, the list was endless. I don't think there was a, a, a high-end brand that I didn't go to and try on some watches. Uh, I, as I said in one of the videos, I, I felt a bit funny filming in the stores. Uh, I just did the, the kind of window shopping footage, and then when I went into the store, Maybe next time I'll get a hidden camera or something like that. I just don't feel, I think it's a bit bit kind of bad form to, to, to film like a tourist while you're trying on watches. It's also very difficult. And also I wanted to enjoy the experience. I wanted to just concentrate, not worry about filming and just concentrate looking at the pieces, you know, trying to take in as much information and concentrate on the experience um, and enjoy it. Which was fantastic, and I must admit, what shopping over there beats New York, beats London, um, really puts these places to shame. Of course, the final price might be a, 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 a little bit, um, you know, you're not going to get the best prices, obviously, but the experience and the range of products that was available was amazing. I think to, to just to, um, I think Omega, which I got a catalogue from, I think Omega and Blanc Pain were my two favourites. Um, and I will, I will go into this in more detail later on, I'll do, I'll do a video regarding all of this. Omega was quite surprising, there were some watches that I did kind of consider my kind of grail watches, Dark Side of the Moon, watches like this. Uh, some of the planet oceans. What I found really interesting was watches that I previously had kind of idolized and, and look and, and kind of looked forward to and considered you know maybe being my grail watch in the future. How some of them were actually disappointments in, in, in reality. The, the, the dark side of the moon I was surprised at how large it was. I felt it was oversized. Uh, a lot of the Omegas I felt were getting too big and and we're losing that kind of, that sophisticated uh, refinement of more conservative traditional sizes. So that was a bit of a, uh, not a letdown, but of a surprise and actually kind of flipped my whole, my whole um, kind of watch buying goals and, my, and, and, and really kind of changed my perception on what I want to Got, you know what I want to save up for and go to in the future. Let me turn this down. Sorry, I do apologise. And actually, the, my main objective, watch shopping, was not to buy a watch. Was to find a watch that I will consider my Grail watch for my 40s, for my 40th birthday. I've got a, a decade to save up, a decade to hunt around. I want something very, very special for my 40th birthday, and I think I found it. And it's actually a blank pack. It's not a 50 fathoms. It's a, it's a very very beautiful, classy. It's a, it's a perpetual calendar with a moon face. It's absolutely. I, I see if I can find it. It's it's a very beautiful piece. Um, I think you know their dress watches. Absolute pure class. Uh, just very traditional, very conservative. Um, 
I even tried a few Pateks on. I just wasn't taken by the Pateks. I think I think something to do with the brand and Black Pat just had the edge design wise. Brege was another one that I was quite impressed by. But again, Blanc Pan for me just had it had some kind of refinement. It reminded me actually of my Frodsham pocket watch that my grandfather had, um, which is a bit unusual. It, it just felt like that, especially the, the, the pieces in precious metal. There's something very classy there's something refined that was in the Blanc Band that I couldn't find in the other brands. So that's going to be really interesting to talk about and I will go into that in a separate video. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. I think I found my Grail watch for my 40s. I've already got my Grail watch for my 30s which of course is my Rolex Submariner uh, which was basically the star of the show during the whole trip. Um, I just loved wearing that watch. So I don't really have you know, I've kind of found my Grail watch for my 30s. I, I, I want to have a Grail watch for different age. Because as you grow older, your tastes change. And, and you know, I probably won't be as active in my 40s. I'm going to try and retire and, and slow down. I'm, um, that's why you work your, your butt off, to put it politely, um, in your 30s and 20s, right? Because you want to retire early and enjoy you know, before you, you, you become too old, you want to enjoy life, right? So I think for, for my 40s, a, a really beautiful classic piece is what I'm, what I'm going to aim for. Um, and actually, I must admit, the prices of Blanc Bat were very competitive. Uh, for what you get for the money, really beats um, Patek, beats Chuje uh, Le Coultre, beats a lot of them. I mean, really gives a them a run for its money in terms of quality, in terms of what you're actually getting. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll go into the, all of this very soon um, and, and I'm very excited because I found a, a brand that I think speaks to me and isn't the run, you know, Vachon Constantine, beautiful, you know, um, Adomas, you know, not my really my cup of tea. Uh, protect not my cup of tea again, but you know I can see the I can see the virtues. I can see what 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 people like about them. Just not for me, but something clicked with Blanc Band. Something just you know something just anyway. It's a really really interesting. Um, anyway, a few I had I had a few uh, packages. A package arrived. Actually, this arrived from this is from Five 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 Gear. Fantastic channel. Um, I'm going to do the unboxing in just a moment, so I'm very excited about that. I had another delivery. Um, this fluorescent green, neon green NATO strap. This is from uh, Red Rooster UK. I will be doing a review. I've actually ordered a couple more because I'm, I'm just really happy with this NATO strap. You guys know I'm a huge NATO strap. Fan. There's, there's no other style of strap that is as usable and dependable as a NATO strap. Primarily, what I, the main thing I love about NATO straps is the way that, you know, if one spring bar fails, you, if one spring bar fails, you've still got it attached to the other one, so you can, it will, won't fall off. You're not going to lose your, your expensive watches. They're so comfortable. Uh, after I went jogging the other day, I just ran straight into shower. You know, it's waterproof, it's it's fantastic. And I just thought some really cool, bright colours for the summer. Uh, of course, not everybody's going to like this, but I think it works quite well with the blue. What do you think? Uh, I'm very happy with this. I bought, I've, I've got some more on the way. So, quick shout out to Red Roosters. They're very kindly, um, they're an, on eBay. I will do a full review of this. And if you... I think if you mention the Urban Gentry, you get a 10% discount. So uh, they're very, very kindly agreed to give a discount to Urban Gentry viewers, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much, Red Roosters UK. Fantastic company. They have so much stuff, um, watch-related goodies, you know, um, kits for repairing your watch, uh, all kinds of stuff, and really fast shipping from the UK to the United States, very, very quick, dependable, totally recommend them for, for NATO straps. As I said, I've ordered some more, so I will do a full review on this. Um, I've, 
I've ordered some a really crazy colours then. I just think it's fun, you know, in summer. It's just fun to have. Another massive success was my uh, extreme uh, day bag. This was fantastic for the for the desert. I will do a more in uh, in depth uh, review. I've I've since bought some more little Velcro uh, badges just to make it really cool. I've got my little poppy there. Never ever forget, of course, and my little Union Jack. And this bag really has been fantastic. All the little pockets. Uh, I even found a bottle of water, so I got from Dasani that just fits perfectly into the pocket here. So, uh, and it was my emergency water just in case we got we got trapped out in the desert. And it's just so comfortable. This strap. Um, this was really useful because I had two cameras, so I could just. From the hip, I could easily just pull out my still camera, take some stills, put back the the, the handheld which I'm filming this, uh, and just swap very easily from from camera to camera. And of course, you know you got all your pockets for all your bits and bobs and snacks and all kinds of stuff. This was abs This was a, this bag was a huge success. And in fact, I got stopped several times by complete strangers. Uh, saying, oh, cool bag, man, you know, where can I buy a bag like that? And I, of course, I, I gave them a card and said to visit the channel, and, and I said that I reviewed the bag and you can view it. Um, so really, for, I think it was, what, $20, $20 fantastic bag. Uh, you don't have to get the camouflaged if you don't want to. It comes in solid colors, but fantastic bag. So I recommend it. Uh, massive success. Another massive success was my linen shirts. Um, as you see, I'm wearing the the blue one. Uh, they were fantastic. And nothing beats a linen shirt in hot weather, for kind of looking casual. Cause casual, smart. You know, you'll see me in the restaurant with these uh, daytime, not nighttime. Nighttime, I had a totally different attire. But uh, the linen shirts, fantastic for summer, uh, especially the white one because it just goes with everything. So that was a big success. Uh, really big success. It's a summer essential. Can't recommend. Uh, you can't. You can't not have linen shirts for the summer. They are absolutely fantastic. So yeah, quite a lot to discuss, which leads me on to my actual watches. I'm still stuck with this kind of sin dilemma. Um, I'm considering the whole sin thing has kind of thrown my whole collection thing into a bit of a. Uh, bit of a dilemma. Um, I'm not really sure what to get next. I'm contemplating maybe getting a Navi timer, uh, and I still can't decide if I should go with with a Sin one or the actual Bretling one. And then I'm looking at other Sins as well. There's a one with the the 104 with the day day complication. I think at 1200 with the leather band is just is just a really good deal. I'm almost going to pull the trigger on it. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. I, I would like to get a sin into the collection and also uh, I'm in the process of selling a few pieces. Some pieces have to go to make way. I even, while I was in Las Vegas, I even considered maybe selling my date just to free up some funds to get a Navi timer. But then I thought, I just love that date just so much. So I'm gonna, it's, it's not actually with me, it's in the bank back in the UK. So I think when I go back to the UK because I'm gonna make a trip. Every year I have to go back and handle paperwork and 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 because I you know I, I own a house there and I have to make sure that everything's in order and and, and you know go to the bank and sign things and blah blah blah. So it's it, I have to do this every year. Uh, but of course I, I turn it into a bit of a holiday. I, I start painting the house and start I you know I do do DIY stuff basically but while I'm there you know I think I'm gonna get the date just out and I mean do I really need to have two Rolexes uh, and one of them I, I hardly ever use so I, I've, I've got to kind of think about what I, where, where the collections going do I want to bring a, another Bretling into the fold I mean it's been a couple of years since I've had a Bretling not quite sure. I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards the Sin. I just like the more kind of. I like the color options they have. The price is better. Uh, I really love the display back they have. Quite taken by the brand. Uh, but as I said, I'm unsure because I haven't seen them in the flesh. And I think if you're going to spend three grand on something you've never seen, 
you know, whereas the Navi time, I've, I've had a lot of experience with and the brand, so I already know what I'm doing. But, you know, it's, it's another price hike up. I don't particularly, you know, like I said, I just came back from Las Vegas with $20 in my pocket. Um, you know, I've, I've got to get back to work and really, really start saving. But it's good. I like that because it makes me hungry. It makes, it motivates me. You know, I've got to, I've got, I've got to put food on the table and pay the rent and, and all the rest of it. So um, that comes first, obviously. I'm never, ever, ever going to get into debt for, 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 for a watch. So yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a quagmire about my collection. I, I, I don't really know, I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to make a video on this quite soon. I am very happy with my setup at the moment. I'm finding the, the Seamaster to be very dependable and my kind of go-to watch for every day. I'm, mi I'm starting to miss wearing the Squire. I think I'm going to have to get the Squire out, out, give it some wrist time. I, I have missed it. So like I said, I'm, going, I'm really going to have to sort out my collection, make some space, free up some funds. For a split second I even considered selling this up and then I thought, no, absolute madness. It's, it's an interesting piece because it's been with me through so many ups and downs and, and so many journeys and, and travels around the world that it's kind of, kind of taken on a, a sentimental value that doesn't really tend to happen with watches. It, it usually something that, that you get a connotation with, with kind of heirloom pieces. It's become so special to me. I mean, I, when I look at the sub, I think of all the places I've traveled, I think of the memories, uh, good and bad. Uh, I think of some really hairy situations where uh, I'm lucky to be alive. I think of, of amazing journeys, of, of happy moments, of sad moments, of struggles, of, 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 of victories. So I, I just can't, and I love that watch. Um, out of my two Rolexes, maybe the other one might might go. I don't know. I, I do love my Datejust, and I haven't seen it for for a while. Another thing is is I've got it's coming up to five years. No, f yeah, f it's coming up to five years with the Submariner. It needs a service. I'm gonna document it on the channel. Uh, I think it will make for an interesting video. Be it will be interesting to see how much it costs. I'm, I'm kind of bracing myself, so I need to put aside six, eight hundred dollars for the servicing. You know, I, I have no idea how much it's going to cost. I haven't serviced my sub since I got it. So that's around the corner, and that's kind of put an unnecessary pressure on me financially. I don't, I don't particularly... You know, that's the only thing that's really stopping me from buying an, a, a sin at the moment, is the fact that you know, it's time to service the sub. But that's the cost of maintaining these, these beautiful, expensive things. So that's kind of keeping me from but buying anything new right now. But it's good because I need to slow down. I mean, I, I, I went, for, I had the mid, what, the, had the mid-size frenzy where I bought three mid-size pieces. This, the Oris, the Oris and the Speedy. So I need to kind of slow it down. Okay guys, so now, Let's have a sneaky peek what's in the package from 555 gear. Uh, so let's have a look at that. So this is my box that I've got from Andrew at 555 and I'm just gonna... I was gonna use my beautiful Kershaw, my favourite knife, but I don't want to muck up the blade and get sellotape stickiness all over it. So I'm just using my really cheap Smith & Wesson that... Uh, that um, I use for unboxing. Oh, we have an envelope, TGV, let's, let's have a look inside, this down and closed are the five knives for your personal enjoyment, thanks for the opportunity for collaboration, I will continue to enjoy your work and I wish you all the best, cheers Andrew, how nice, look at that, and he's, he's got very nice, um, I must get a, a, a TGV um, notepad or something. I really appreciate this, the, uh, you know, a handwritten letter like that. So thank you very much, Andrew. I'm, I'm touched. And let's see what's inside the box. Wow, it's really, really well packaged. So, fans, so I'm going to have to open both fans. Ah, my God. 
what have we got? Beautiful, beautiful leather case, look at that. So we got Northwoods, what else have we got? Oh wow, look at this. This is, this is serious stuff. That's a beautiful case for, oh, look at that. My God, I feel, I feel like a spoiled child at Christmas. Look at this clip, look at that clip. So what have we got first? We got, this is Northwoods. Let's have a look. Wow, stunning. Very, very nice. Made in the USA, fantastic. Look at that, it's a really, it's a very traditional knife. I haven't owned a knife like this since I was a child. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Andrew. Oh my God. Uh, I'm, I'm really touched. Fantastic. Well, let's have a look at the other ones. Other ones here. Let's, let's see what we, what we got. Oh, this beautiful little. Now, what is this? This is a very sweet little. Oh wow, look how it clicks up there. Now that, that's a fantastic little knife. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful action to that. Really nice and useful. Look at the, the grit. My God, I wish I had this in the, in the desert in Arizona. What else have we got? Oh, so this is the famous spider pole. Now I've never had these knives, so this is really gonna be, wow, the action on that. Very smooth. Now how do you... Oh, and the lock is on the back. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, look at that. You push it down, push that down and that releases. Oh, that is pure class. Look at that beautiful... Uh, I presume is this fiber... It looks like um, carbon fiber handle. Absolute stone. Love the clip. Very nice action to that. Very comfortable grip. That's going to be very useful. Do not have anything like that. So let's put that there. What else do we have? Wow. Look at this. So where does the, where does the blade... So what's this on the back? Oh, this is the clip. Fantastic. And then the blade must come out this side, I presume. Wow. Look at that. A lot of you guys have recommended this, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, look at the, oh, look at the way the, uh, the, the lock is in, in, embedded into the handle. Beautiful design, absolutely stunning. Look at that. Amazing, amazing. And what's, what's the last one? It's actually got a, um, like a flathead style. I forget the terminology, but you, you guys can correct me. Now, what, that is a serious knife. Now, this is something... Look at the beautiful, look at the, uh, it's satinized here. The detail in the blade, absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. My God, I feel like a child at Christmas. Andrew, you, you, you really shouldn't have, you know. <laughs> um, my God, I, I, my knife collection has just, <laughs> just gone from average to, to pretty amazing. So what have we got? We've got five knives here. What have we got? We've got five knives here, all different styles, all different blades. Absolutely, I can't wait to get into these and discuss these further. So let's, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. Let's go back to the studio and then uh, I really look forward to, to reviewing these further. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll definitely catch you next time. Okay guys, ciao!